All right, so we are back. In our last lecture, we were talking about how to measure the fluid volume in various body compartments. In this lecture, what we are going to talk about is what do we mean by osmotic pressure, what is osmolality, what is osmolarity, and then we will try to do some Donnan Yarrow diagrams to understand that what is the effect of changing various uh, concentrations of various uh, substances and see what happens to the body fluid compartments. So, after this lecture you should be able to understand what is osmosis, I believe that you should already know that from the initial physiology lectures. Uh, so, I am not going to go too much in detail for that, you should know what is osmosis, after this lecture you should know what is the one mole and what is the osmolarity exerted by the mole and then you should know what is osmotic pressure of one mole of particles uh, present and then uh, what is why do we use milli osmos and then uh, how do we measure osmolarity of a, of a solution. So, uh, without delay let us start. All right. So, let us say we have a compartment, this is a container, this container contains some I am going to make in blue color, it contains some solution, some uh, water, it has a semi permeable membrane it has a semi permeable membrane which is dividing this container into two compartments A and B. So, a container which contains some fluid, some water, then it has a semi permeable membrane which is separating the water into two compartments. And now the idea which we have to understand osmosis, again I am not going to be doing osmosis in detail that is initial part of the physiology lectures, please go and uh, probably read the initial parts of the Guyton or my basic lectures. Here what we are more concerned is that if we can clarify the concepts of osmolarity, osmolality and then how do we tie the osmotic pressure and uh, what do we mean by uh, various solutions uh, tonicity. So, two compartments semi permeable membrane, this membrane allows free movement of water. So, the water can go from here to here or it can go back from there to this side. So, the water molecules are really they are happy, they are they're nice and happy molecules, they can move to both sides, but it is a semi permeable membrane, it will not allow the solutes, the solutes are sad here because they cannot they cannot cross this membrane. So, happy water molecule they can move, sad solute mole molecules they cannot move. Now, the question is what is osmosis? Osmosis is movement of water, so let me say a, a general thing, movement of water from one compartment to the other compartment. It is not the complete definition, it is just the movement. Now, the question is what makes the water move? So, the water move from the higher concentration to the lower concentration. So, from higher higher water concentration, so that is the that is the basic thing to understand higher I am going to write it in a different color, water moves from the higher I got another color formed here higher water concentration to lower water concentration that will be osmosis. So, what do we mean by higher water concentration? So, let us see, let us say in this container we have some substance, let us say we have sodium. So, there are let us say both of the side the, there is equal amount of water, but on this side we have 
four sodium particles sitting here. So, in this side we have four sodium molecules or sodium uh, electrolytes ions sitting on this side. So, what do you think which compartment has more water? Of course, the compartment where there are no solutes present has more water concentration. I can make it a little bit more clarified if I said let us say a big part of this side of the water actually has solute. So, it would not be a block in there the solute will be equally dispersed everywhere, but let us say if you measure the whole amount this whole thing is. So, what do you think where is water more this side water is more. So, water concentration is more on the compartment B water concentration is less in compartment A. Now, what will happen is this is a semi permeable membrane. So, this membrane is not going to let the water uh, the solutes move this membrane is not going to let the solutes move. So, then who is allowed to move water is allowed to move. So, now where is more concentration of water over here. So, water would start moving from that side to this side. Do we get that? So, the important thing to understand is we are not allowing the solutes to move. Ideally, if this membrane was had pores which were large enough to allow the solutes to move, then the solutes would disperse in two mediums as well and become equally uh, dispersed or, or distributed and they, they would get an equilibrium. But right now we have caused the solutes to stay trapped in here. So, when the solutes are trapped the water is going to move from that side to this side. So, tell me what is going to happen when the water moves when the water moves from that side to this side from the compartment B to A the water level here is going to raise correct because this is the water which got pulled and the water level here is going to go down. Of course, the water is not coming from anywhere else it is the water which is moving from here to here. So, this is what you have to remember when you are talking about the Don and Yarrow diagrams. So, let us say this is that diagram and we say this is ICF and this is ECF and then we say the ECF volume increases what would happen to this side. So, you should be able to see this that first the volume could increase let us say on this side then that extra volume will then move let me just put this marker over here. So, this extra volume which is introduced here by some reason let us say you have given him a norm some you know plain water person is drinking water or something. So, this water is then going to be equilibrated in the two compartments and so the final um, level will be such right. So, uh, similarly over here the solutes are present the solutes cause the water concentration to be less water move from this side to this side enough that the water concentration on both sides become equal. Now, the question is so this is osmosis osmosis is movement of water from higher concentration to the lower concentration good. Now, there is a very important thing so USMLE sometimes gets you in that do you need to have a semi permeable membrane not really. So, if you had let us say I have sodium you know you salt. So, make a little pile of salt. So, this is on my table I make a little pile of salt good. Now, near this pile if I put let us see the cool marker if I put some water will that be pulled in yes it will be pulled in. So, water will start moving from this higher concentration to this lower concentration and start moving in here right. So, you, you might have observed this you put a tissue paper near water and the water gets that is a different uh, phenomena, but it is the same thing. So, here we have the salt or some solute present in the water. So, it is not really necessary that there has to be a membrane, but in the experimentation it is normally useful to use these uh, membranes and then you can have a control for how and you can observe the water movement. So, all right. So, when the water will move from this side to this side the water volume here would reduce the water volume here would increase, but 